guys. It's been a minute since I was here making a video, but I got some new stuff from Born Pretty today, so I thought we could make something with it. So this is a Blue Cat's Eye Magnetic Gel. This one looks like it's just one of their uh, polishes from their color range, and they've sent my favorite color, which is exciting. A bit excessive on the packaging. That's nice. This, I think, is from the Jelly Nude range, JN03. I've showed you guys this before. If you want to see the video all about the Jelly Nude gels, I'll put that up in the corner here for you now. And the last thing is this 5 solid gel. I don't really know what this is. I had a quick look online and it seems to be like, I don't know, like poly gel maybe or whatever, but it's used for doing nail art. If you can get it out of the thing. Oh, it's coming now. So this is eggshell. The one that I saw online, the eggshell has I guess it's just clear with these little pieces of black through it. So I'm thinking we do like a mermaid theme set because I don't really know what else to do with this except make a shell design with it. I have seen some people use it to just draw a circle on the nail or to write a letter on the nail. So that's also an option. Um, but I'm gonna make a seashell and it's eggshell. So for that nail, We'll paint it purple first. I'll put this BP125 color to paint the base of this now. We'll put the shell design over top of it in the eggshell gel. For the next nail, I wanted to use this Jelly Nude Gel. I absolutely love this. I use it on every client who wants to have a French manicure or a natural looking manicure. Baby Boomers I did yesterday with this gel. Not this particular color, but this is a nice color. It's more on the purple nude spectrum than pink. And it doesn't cover all the way, but that's what you want because you want it to be more natural and look like somebody's actual, um, the color of their nail bed. So I'm going to put that in the light to cure. The Cat's Eye Magnetic is Sea Blue Cat's Eye Magnetic Gel SB14. I guess that's Sea Blue 14 maybe. What? It's called Sea Blue, and it's actually purple. I mean, unless my eyes are failing me, but I'm pretty sure that's purple. Um, that's fine, because my nude nail actually has a purple uh, tinge to it as well, so we'll, we'll use that over the nude. And I'm going to paint another layer of this, because when I set it down here, I can actually see that it's not covered perfectly, so I'm just gonna add another layer and cure it, and then we'll get to work. Gosh, you need a lot of polish for long nails. Now we've got our nude base. I've seen Born Pretty do this uh, cat's eye magnetic ombre look several times on adverts. So that's what I'm going to do. They've inspired me. So I'll just put a bit up at the top here. And then I'll use my ombre brush to blend it down. It blends really nicely with this Jelly Nude Gel, I guess because it had the, the purple base color to it. Now I'll use my magnet. Hmm, I don't know, it's a little bit unimpressive. What to do, what to do. I wonder what it looks like over the purple now. That 
looks nice with the purple base underneath. Is this holographic? No. Okay, let's light it up. Doesn't look much different than when I painted it on, to be honest. It's nice. It's not sea blue. I don't know what sea they live in. But it is nice and it has a cool effect. If we do the general cat's eye look, that's the original OG cat's eye. Very cool, but I do prefer to have it just lit up. If you're working with cat's eyes and you want to change the, the pattern of the cat's eye or whatever, you just need to go in and rebrush the gel. You don't need to add any more. And just rebrush it and then you can go ahead and do different things with it. Let me see, I've got another magnet here that's a circle. So I wonder... That's a bit of a look, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah, I'm digging that. <clears throat> Let's keep that. We'll put that in the light now and set that design so that we can keep it. What am I going to do with this one? I'll show you how I do a French ombre or a baby boomer with this jelly nude gel. So I'm just going to paint some white gel polish on the tip. And that's the area that I want to be solid white. For the rest, I want it to be blended. So I'll use my ombre brush to do that. And I'm just using the very tip of the brush to drag it down into the jelly gel, which is cured in case you're just tuning in. As I'm getting closer to the edge, I'll apply more pressure and kind of lay my brush down flat like this so that it's touching the nail and it will help to drag it out more seamlessly and you won't get all the little spiky streaks. Now I'm really close to the end of the blend so I'm more patting with this part of the brush than dragging with the tip. And I'll go back and do that again because this area here is a little bit harsh, the line, so I'll just start above it and do the same thing. At the beginning I'll use the tip of my brush and drag that down a bit. And then as I start to work my way down, I'll start laying my ombre brush down a bit more just to, I don't know, like get rid of those streaky lines and literally now I'm, I'm more patting than I am um, dragging, drag patting. So that's a really nice blend. I'll put that in the light to cure and then I'm going to go over top of that in the opposite direction with the jelly, ju jelly nude gel again. Okay, so here is our cat's eye magnetic gel over the BP125. I'm wondering if my shell design idea will look nice over this. I don't really know. Let's check it out. If not, we'll just paint a letter or draw a letter on it or something. So when you do the shell pattern, you want it to be thicker at the bottom of the shell than the top. I don't know what kind of control I'll have with this uh, tube, but I'm gonna squeeze quite heavily at the bottom. Oh gosh, my hand is getting tired. Now I'm getting up towards the top. I'm stretching it out a bit more. I mean, that didn't really do what I wanted it to do and it looks a bit shit. So let's do something else. Okay, instead I've painted this nail white and I think I'll just go in and try and write some letters on this. God's sake. S 
So, I mean, I wrote love, which is actually the exact opposite of how I'm feeling about this product. I can't imagine where I would ever use this. Hmm. Is it sculptable? Can I use a 3D brush to sculpt it into something else, like a flower maybe? But it's got this eggshell thing. I don't really know. It's like gel. Just a little bit thicker. I don't know you guys. I mean, that's a cool effect, but the pieces are actually quite big. The black pieces are pretty chunky. So they're sitting right on top of the noun. That would need to be encapsulated or something so that it wasn't all bumpy like that. I'm not in love with it. I just... I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. So the problem, another problem that I'm having is that the pieces are so chunky that when I'm trying to squeeze the gel out, I'm having to apply inconsistent amounts of pressure to get it out when it comes up to a chunky bit. And then it comes out too quickly after, and then some sections are really clear. And I just don't know where I would use this. So that's, that's a no from me there. It does come in other colors and if you're into the 3D writing on your nails then that's maybe something that you would enjoy. So check out the listing anyway if you want um, to see what other colors there are. I think they're transparent as well which is a bit weird but okay moving on. This was a success so let's let's continue this. Um, that's my Jelly Nude gel so I'm going to do the same thing as I did with the white, except I'll reverse the position and do it with the nude. And these look really great over the natural nail and when it grows out it's not such a stark transition from the new growth area to the, the polish. It's much better than using a full cover nude gel polish. So now I've painted it on and I have gone just over the blended area there because I won't be blending this down from very far. I'm just going to soften this edge here. And that's it for the French ombre look and then we can just give that some top coat and away you go. So here's the cat's eye. Um, top coated over the pretty purple color that I got. I like those two products, they're cool, although this is labeled sea blue and it's blatantly not. And that's a winner from me as well. I wonder what this cat's eye will look like if I use it as the nude base for my ombre nail. That might be cool. Hmm, I don't know. What do you think? Is that a winner? What if I... Oh my gosh, get off. What if I do this? Winner? Loser? No? I don't know you guys. Oddly, I really, I prefer the cat's eye without activating it. I mean, that's quite nice. I like that. Um, I think that's salvageable. As for this, I don't really know. If you have any ideas of how I could use this, shout out in the comments and let me know. Otherwise, that's it for me for this video. I will put the links to all of these in the description box below. And if you haven't looked at my video about these Jelly Nude Gels yet, go and check it out. 
it is the solution to using a cover pink acrylic or cover pink hard gel if you're only working with gel polish um, you need to have these jelly gels in your life I use them every single day well nearly thanks for watching you guys I hope you enjoyed this and I will catch you again very soon for another nail video bye for now I just want to squeeze, squeeze this out really angrily into a messy pile because I don't like it. But I can't even do that. I can't even get it out now. Oh, I'm squeezing it so hard. And nothing's happening. This is annoying.